Hello, good evening. We are going to begin the class in a couple of minutes. So we are just going to wait for the rest of the students. Buenas tardes, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Ya vamos a comenzar la clase, so vamos a esperar al resto de este estudiantes para que se conecten. Y le vamos a dar unos avisos, ya que esta es la semana 4 y ya vamos a comenzar. Hi, okay, teacher. Okay. We are just going to wait a couple of minutes. Good evening, Mercy. Good evening, Lisette. Good evening, teacher. I know that it's raining uh, very heavy in different areas of the country, like electrical storms and all of that. Probably that's the reason why um, some people is not connected now. Tal vez tuvieron problemas. Eh, parece que ahí está lloviendo, así que vamos a ver si pueden conectar. Y si no, pues. ¿Qué? Vamos a comenzar en un par de minutos. Uh, in the meantime, I, uh, I just want to let you know about some information. Uh, you already know, uh, probably. So, uh, if you haven't completed the platform, si todavía no han completado, completado la plataforma, pues lo pueden completar. El último día es el 28 de julio, ya que esta es la última semana del curso de esta clase de intermedio. Entonces, para que le puedan dar ustedes el, el diploma, ¿verdad? So you can download the diploma. Some people, I guess that they already have the diploma. If you have finished it, if you have finished the platform, if you have finished the the um, the test the final exam i guess that you already have that i don't know la plataforma está el todos los días o lo pueden ocupar cuando ustedes quieran entonces ustedes se organizan con con su tiempo entonces nada más les quería avisar eso que si ustedes no lo han terminado aún pues tienen hasta el jueves para que el puedan descargar el diploma y sea válido por el sistema es that is the information that i I have to tell you, I will repeat it at the end of the class, just for the ones who were, who were not connected, probably they are able to, to connect later. At the, okay, at the teacher, class. thank you. But just for you to let you know, uh, because this is the last, the last uh, week, okay? And after this week, you are going to have vacation, right? Because the first week of August, you are not going to have any vacation. I'm sorry, you are not going to have any class so you will have vacation okay van a tener vacaciones así que i just had to let you know about that good evening noe good evening naisa good evening rosa good evening teacher is good it, evening, is it, everybody. Good, yeah good evening paola uh, is it raining there where you are right now it's raining teacher it's raining right yes yes, yes i rain. Uh, rosa also it's raining there where you're living right now in your house yes yes Okay, yes, because that that's what we were talking about, that probably that's the reason why many people haven't, uh, it's not here, it's not online, it's not connected, because they, probably they have some problems with the rain or electricity, I don't know. Uh, right now here in my city, it's not raining, probably will rain after the class, or I don't know, but right now it's not raining. Actually, it's kind of hot, the whole day it's been, has been really hot. But uh, we are going to uh, continue. We are going to begin with the class right now. As you already know, this is the section five that we are going to study this week. And this will be the last week for this for these classes, right? So we are going to begin with the objective. So I will share my screen right now. Just one moment. And this is the section five. Yes, section five. Have you have you worked on section five already? Ya hicieron la sección cinco. Have you worked yes, on teacher. that? Yes, right. Yes, did teacher. you complete yes. Did you complete the exam? Yes, teacher. Yes, case. right. Yes, okay, yes. very good. So probably you will be familiar with this. You will be. Uh, you already know, right? The topics that we are going to study, but we are going to practice, right? We are going to review to practice. The objective of this lesson was the future tense, el futuro. 
So that's what we are going to practice is what we used to discuss our plans and hopes in this lesson, uh, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. English teacher Joe Sands explains these two different ways to talk about future plans step-by-step -step using a simple formula. Ask and answer questions using going to and will as uh, auxiliary verbs and practice discussing your future plans. For example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the day. So what we are going to do is just to talk about vacations, holidays, and also we are going to use will and going to, okay? So as you already know, uh, the first week of August, you are going, you're not going to have clases, you will be free. So uh, what would you like to do on vacation? ¿Qué hacen ustedes en la vacación? What, would, what do you do, for example, in, on, on vacation? I I am going to the beach, for example, and I I like to go to the I don't know in English las ruedas, teacher. <laughs> yeah, the electrical games or merry-go-round. Ah, okay. Yeah, electrical games. They are games. Yes, games. Yes. So you go there and you go to the beach also, right? Yes. And you go with your family. Yes, I I I am going with my family, my sister and my mom, mother, mm -hmm. my mom. Yes, it's, it's a tradition to, to go because it's necessary in the in the year to, to have a to have a, a vacation. Yes, it's necessary, right? You you have to relax, you have to enjoy with your family. And what is a good beach to go or what is the, the one that you go with your family? Uh I I like to go to the San Diego mm -hmm. because it's very quiet and uh, I I seen the 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 ocean and the, the the ocean is very dangerous but in this pla in this beach uh, I think it's a uh, very quiet the, <laughs> it's very the, calm and very quiet and is it crowded yes. is is it crowded in in, in August uh, crowding, I don't know. Yes, crowded with a lot of people. Ah, no, no, it's very, very, they, there are less people. Uh, I think, I don't know why. I, I think because the the strip is very bad. Yeah. <laughs> the, the people like go to the Tunco. I don't know why. Because I don't like very much the, the beach, but it's the the light now. Yes, exactly. So San Diego is quieter than El Tunco. I think yes, and it's more family, more family, familiar. I don't know, familiar. Family it's, friendly, it's, yeah, family friendly. Fa family friendly, yes, because for for me, I I think. Yes, and El Tunco is more like with party and beers and all the places around. I, I think it's more to the, the to the, the people younger and the people that go to the friends and go to the to the boyfriends. I don't know. I, I think it's more juvenil. <laughs> yes. Exactly, it's for young people yet yeah, with your, to go with your friends to go dancing at night because there are a lot of places to go dancing right there. And San Diego is like like more family friendly. Yes. Yes. Okay, probably we will visit San Diego or uh, instead of El Tunco in the future. But thank you for your participation, Mercy. So we have okay. different different uh, places uh, where we can go right during our vacation, and we can see here in an example. We can take a fun trip, a trip, right? Un viaje, where we can visit a foreign country or we can travel in my own country, in our own, own country, um, discover something new. We can go to a music festival. We can take a photography course. Some people like that. Also, we can stay at home because some people, they don't like to, to go outside, right? They like to stay 
at home to hang out with friends inside of the house, um, probably host a family reunion. And some other people, they enjoy nature, right? They like to go camping. They like to relax uh, at the beach like Mercy, right? She goes to San Diego with her family. So they like, they enjoy nature. Um, who else wants to participate? What, what else do you do during vacation? ¿Qué más hacen en la vacación? Teacher. Yes. Uh, my family, we like to go beach Los Cobano because it's very, um, very, very clear, mm -hmm. uh, clean, uh, clean. You always there, there are people in this space. Um, and always, uh, 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 when uh, my, uh, or my food prepare, prepare with my, because um, for my waist, I, I uh, July uh, prepare the lunch mm -hmm. for uh, enjoy with my two kids in TV and I travel in we car the holidays. Okay, very good. So you go to Los Cobanos and your wife prepares the food. Yes. Okay, what kind of what, what kind of food do you do you prepare to go to the beach? Uh, sorry. Yeah, what what kind of food does uh, of food does your wife prepare to go to the uh, okay, beach? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh um, chicken fried chicken. Fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Fried chicken. Um the potato llevamos eh, eh, lunch mm -hmm. eh, llevamos este bebí eh, fish fish eh, no fish eh, ba, boy, buy 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 in the in the in, 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 in the beach ah you you buy it uh, on, in los uh, cabanos uh, yes eh, because uh, or five dollars, six dollars, mm -hmm. it's very, it's, it's very well. Okay, very good. Yes, because some people, they prepare sandwiches, right? Sandwiches with uh, churritos, churritos <laughs> yes, like snacks, right? Yes, I remember when I was a kid that we used to prepare those kind of stuff like soda, also big soda, right? And we have to prepare everything, the clothes, the towels, everything, right? So we, we prepare everything. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Noé, do we do we have another person who would like to participate? Alguien más que quiera participar? Like saying, what, what would you do? Or what do you like to do on vacation? What else do you like to do on vacation? Go camping. Because some people like to go camping, right? To the, to the forest, to the mountains. Or we can answer these uh, questions here. It says, what do you normally do on vacations? Or what are you going to do in your next vacations? It will be in August, I guess, right? So I don't know if you like to travel with your family or you like to travel alone by yourself. What else do you do, do, you do on vacation? ¿Qué más hacen en la vacación? We have Aisa, Tatiana, Juan, Brian, Priscilla, Rosa, Maria. Okay, go ahead, Wake Rosa. Up late. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Rosa. In my case, I I going to visit my family, visit church, and I going to visit my mother-in-law and father-in-law. In I will probably rest uh, rest uh, one of the day. I am going going to visit the beach because it's full. Yes, it's really crowded, right? A lot of people, right? So in um, your family, where, where do they live? Do they live in the same area or they live in another department? In this area. In your in this in the same area. Yes, yes. Okay, so you rather to stay at home than going outside. 
you like to stay at home with your family, watch TV. Yes, I, I watch TV, see, and prob I will probably watch TV. You, you probably will okay. watch it. Are you okay? Yeah. Yes. That's a, a really relaxing plan. Some people don't like to complicate or like don't like to go outside and plan a lot of things and spend money. More and it's a very good option if you don't have a lot of money, right? You can stay at home, you can prepare food. Yeah, very good option. Very good. Thank you, uh Rosa. Now we are going to continue with the next exercise that is related with vacation. Okay. We are going to practice this conversation and I would like you to practice it with a classmate. Si no han participado, participen. Eh, primero vamos a leer la conversación y después ustedes la pueden practicar para que practiquen en inglés, the pronunciation, okay? And if you have any new uh, vocabulary, we can find it, okay? So uh, we are going to read the conversation. We are going to practice it and then we are going to find new vocabulary. So it says, uh, the conversation says, I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay at home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing surfing every day, and my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more, the merrier. Okay. Now, do you have questions about the conversation? Pregunta acerca de la conversación. How do you say eh, no? The eh, eh, eh. merrier, the merrier. The merrier. Okay, that is an expression, right? Uh, it says the more, the merrier. In 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 Spanish or in español decimos mientras más mejor, verdad? Mientras más mejor. And in this case, the more, the merrier. That will be the, the meaning, okay? Thank you. Mientras más mejor, the more the merrier. Now, another, do you have any other question about the, the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, um, donde dice, Andy, my cousin likes to snorkel. Snorkel. Okay, it says my cousin likes to snorkel. What is snorkel? When you yes. use like a tube here, you put it in your mouth to breathe under the water, right? And you swim under the water, but not too deep. It's not like diving. No es como bucear. It's not like diving, but it's just to watch the fishes, to watch the corals, the coral. Entonces es como bucear, pero no tan tan profundo. Solo utilizamos el snorkel. Ah, okay. Okay. It's, yes, it's just almost on the surface. So that is snorkeling. Okay, Thank another you. question. Yes, teacher. I ha I'll hang out with my son friends. Very good. I'll hang out with some friends. Hang out is a phrasal verb. Uh, the meaning of hang out is to go out, right? To go out and have some fun with some friends, right? Como ir a, a salir con amigos, ¿verdad? salir a divertirse, digamos. Hang out, hang out with some friends. Yes, exactly. Thank Another you. question? Another question? No more question? Okay, very good. So uh, remember uh, the pronunciation because now we are going to practice the conversation. Excited, right? Excited. What is the meaning of excited? Emocionado. Emocionado, exactly. Excited. So excited. Another uh, word that we have to be careful with is hang out. I'll hang out. Also snorkeling, surfing. And another one that sometimes we commit um, some mistakes, right? Because it's, it's 
sorry, it's normal because uh, how do you pronounce vacation? Vacation. 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 It's, it's vacation, vacation or vacation. 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 Yes, vacation. Exactly. It's vacation, right? Vacation because vac vacation is in Spanish, right? Vacation. Vacation. And vacations is in, in English. Vacation. So I need two volunteers to practice a conversation, please. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Who said me? Me, Juan... Tatiana. <laughs> raise your, raise your hand. Okay. It says Juan, Juan uh, Carla and Juan. Linares, right? Okay. 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 okay, you can go ahead. Okay. I'm so excited we have a two week out. What are you, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess you will just stay home. Maybe I hang out with some friends. And what's my favorite series? What's about, what yeah. about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We are my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe we'll go to a snorkel on day. Sounds like fun. Um... Hey, why do hey, why do don't you come with you? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. Put more the Marianne. Very good. Very good. Marianne. Marianne. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. And thank you, Juan. Very good. So I'm so excited. Very good. The pronunciation was really good. Remember, I'll is the contraction of I will, right? And it's I'll. I'll hang out with some friends. Very good. And my cousin, right? My cousin likes to snorkel. And do you mean it, right? Remember that you need to, like the intonation for a uh, question is different, right? Do you mean it? I love to, right? And also, why don't you come with us? Why don't you come with us, right? Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? So try to practice it like that. I need two volunteers. Otras dos voluntarios? Jaime and Aisa. Okay, very good. Jaime, you yes. can begin, Jaime, and then Aisa continues. Oh, yes. Um, I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm Alice? not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends. And watching and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach uh, with my coaching. We're going to go surfing every day. And my coaching likes uh, to snorkel. So maybe we'll go snorkel one day. I can hear you. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Teacher, no escucho. No escucha. Do you, you don't listen to Jaime? Yes. You know, yes, you can. Me escuchan. Yes, I yes. Can, we can hear you, Aisa. Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Lily is, you are Al, Al, Al is Alisa. Lily, yes. yes. Uh, it, it seems that she has some problem. I uh -huh. love it. To exactly. grind my softboard. That's great. The more, the merrier. Very good. Very good, Aisa. Thank you. Thank you, Jaime. Very good. Uh, yeah, probably you have some problems with the connection. That's, that's a problem with the internet every time. But uh, we, we we tried. We did it very good. Uh, remember that is a uh, cousin, right? Cousin 
it's like a U, but it's close. Es como decir una U, pero como cerrada, ¿verdad? Es como una A cerrada cousin. también. Cousin. Cousin? cousin. No, cousin. 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 My cousin. Exactly. Very good. Cousin. Now, an another two volunteers, otros dos voluntarios. The last ones. Oh, we have three. We have Tatiana and Walter. Hey, Carla, we can practice later. Uh, Tatiana, go ahead and Walter. Okay. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite city, series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax in the beach with my cousin. We are going to, we are going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to snorkel, so maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. I don't like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I bring my salt bar. That's great. The more the merrier. Very good. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, Walter. Very good. It, the, the expression is sounds like fun, right? Sounds like fun, but very good. You uh, were very fluent. Okay, Carla, do you still want to participate or not anymore? Yes, Carla, okay. Who wants to participate with Carla? The last one, the último. Okay, very good. Go ahead. You can go ahead, you can begin. Okay. I'm so excited. We have the week off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll, I'll use to stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends in what's my favorite city. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We are going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Some sound like fun. Hey, where do you go with that? Do you mean? Do you mean? I love to. I bring my suburbs. That's great. The more the merrier. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Mercy. Thank you, Carla. Very good. You did very well. You were very fluent, and also the pronunciation was really good. Now, I want you also, we, we can practice everything, but we need to understand the conversation also. So, where are they going to go? ¿A qué lugar van a ir ellas? The beach. The beach. Exactly. The beach. They are going to the beach, exactly. So, uh, there is a missing part of this conversation, and we are going to listen to it, because we have to practice also or a listening skill, right? So um, we are going to know now where are they going to stay? Because if you go, they are going to go to the beach, right? But they need to stay somewhere. There. Are they going to stay in a hotel? Are they going to stay in a house? Are they going to stay um, just at the beach, right? So where are they going to stay? And also uh, we are going to find out how are they going to get there? That's what we want to know. What are they going to, what, where are they going to stay and how are they going to get to that place? So I'm going to play it here. Just, it's, uh, we, are going, we are going to listen to the conversation again. So just let me share the audio with you. One moment, please. Okay, so this is the conversation that we are going to listen. This is the conversation that we practice. Esta es la conversación que ya practicamos. La vamos a volver a escuchar y luego vamos a escuchar la parte extra. So I want you to listen, okay? Vamos a escuchar. Let me know if you don't listen to. Me, me dicen si escuchan o no. Page 30, exercise 2, conversation. What are you going to do? Are you able to listen to it? Yes? Yes. yes? yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to continue. Yes, Carla. No, Carla. Okay, very good. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, very good. Part A. Listen and practice.
I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Thirty, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? Okay, now we're going to listen where they are going to stay and how they are going to get there, okay? So pay attention. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, that's it. Did you get it, or do you want to listen to it one more time? One more time. One more time. <laughs> okay. Friday. One more time. Friday. No, no Maybe. Spanish. No Spanish. Okay, we are going to listen to listen to it one more time and uh, listen to the place they are where they are going to stay, right? And how they are going to get there. Just I'm going to play it. Thirty. Exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, did you get it? Yes? <laughs> no? Yes, right. Everybody got it, right? Oh, okay, so. what? Do you want to listen to it one more time? We one can more, try. Yes. Okay, we, this is the last time, okay? Okay, just pay yes. attention. No problem, no problem. Don't worry about that. No problem. It's just to practice. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, that's it. Did you get it? Did you get it or you didn't get it the third time? <laughs> so, so. Exactly, exactly. That's the place. That's the place. Uh the, the uncles, but what 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 is what is the uncles what? Aunts. And aunts. What is uncle and aunt? Tia and tia. Exactly. Exactly. And and what 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 do they have? The uncle and the aunt, what do they have? They have a ranch, they have a hotel. Beach house. A beach house, exactly, a beach house. Uh -huh. And how are they going to get to the beach house? Happy, dijeron ellos. Happy, yes, they are going to be happy because they will travel, right? But how are they going to get there? ¿Cómo van a llegar ahí donde el tío y la tía? Uh -huh. 
¿Cómo se van a ir? A by pie. Bus. At the by, bus. By bus, exactly, by bus. At what time does it, are you going to take the bus? ¿A qué horas van a agarrar el bus? At what time? At, at five. At five. five. A. Exactly, <laughs> at, at five a.m. You see, you were able to listen to it. Okay, so we are going to check it right now. No escucho nada, que estoy hablando muy fuerte. Okay, don't worry. If you don't listen to it, you can uh, watch it, um, the class later, right? No problems, he said. I'm so sorry for you. So uh, we are going just to confirm the answers for the conversation. It says, this is the conversation, you see? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. Okay, so that's okay. Beach house is a casa de playa, right? Beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. So this is the second question, right? How they are going to get there? By bus, right? at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, so questions about this exercise? Questions? No questions, right? Everything's clear. No okay, very good. So yes. this is that this is like a, an audio that we are going just to, to use to practice the, the listening, okay, the listening skill. So now we are going to continue. We are going to continue um, talking about vacation trips and things like that. But also we are going to use the grammar, right? Going to and will. When are we going to use going to, Noe? Sorry, teacher. Yes, sorry. No le oigo. yes sorry, 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 Noe. Yes, uh, it's raining. Yes, in a lot of places it's raining. Here it's not raining yet, but uh, can you tell me when are we going to use going to? When uh, uh, one action um, for future. An action for the future, yes, 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 very good. So we are going to use going to for an action in the future. But this action um, and, and will, when are we going to use will? Who knows? Who else knows? Will. Possible when are plans. We... Possible plans. Use for, 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 use will, possible for, plan. for possible plans. For oh. example, tomorrow, the next week. Okay, very good. Tomorrow, next week. Thank you, Jaime. Thank you, uh, Carla, also. So we, we can use will for possible plans and going to for things that are we are more sure, right? Because we, we never know, right? But we are more sure with going to. So according to the platform, según la plataforma dice, use be going to plus verb for plans you've decided on. Para los cuales usted ya, ya decidió, ya decidió que va a ser. And will, plus verb for possible plans, possible plans. So you haven't decided yet before you made a decision, right? You haven't decided yet. We have examples there. What are you going to do? I am going to relax at the beach. We're going to go surfing every day. I'm not going to do anything special. So that's something that we have decided. We have uh, made a decision. And the next one uh, for Will is, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. I don't know. I think I'll go camping. I probably won't go anywhere. So you see, we are not sure with will is a possibility. Probably, we don't know. Uh, but with going to, we are sure about that. So um, according to the information we have here, it says use be going to for things you have planned and are not far in the future. So they have to be near in the future, right? And use will for rapid decisions and things that are not planned. They're usually far in time. 
So we have, I'm going to eat dinner with my friends tomorrow. So because I'm, I am sure of it, I'm going to use going, right? And if I am not sure, I'm going to use will. Maybe I will visit my family in the countryside. Maybe, right? And we have formulas, right? Also, it says future with going to. It says subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. So it says a subject, I, right? I, we, they. Then the verb to be, we have to use the verb to be with going to, right? So I am going to stay home for the weekend. I am going to stay home for the weekend. So that is the, the structure we have to follow for going to. And we have to we have to be careful with the verb to be, right? And, and the subject, the pronoun that we are going to use. We can use it in negative, yes. For example, I will not go on vacation this month. No voy a ir, no, me voy, no, no voy a tener vacaciones este mes. No voy a ir a de vacaciones, ¿verdad? I will not go on vacation this month. The contraction for will not is want, right? Contraction. I won't go on vacation this month. And I am not going, right? With going to, we can use also negative statements. I'm not going to travel abroad this year or I am not going to travel abroad this year. So we have a contraction with the verb to be right there. So that is the difference. We can use it in negative also. And uh, we have expressions, right? For example, we have here the structure with going, with will, sorry, possibility plus subject plus will plus verb plus complement. So after will, we have to use the infinitive, right? Of the verb. Um, so, and we have to, we can use, expressions, uh, possibility expressions, like for example, I guess, maybe, I think, I probably. For example, I guess, what does it mean, I guess? ¿Qué significa I guess? Creo. Creo. Yo creo, creo, verdad? Yo creo. creo, very good. Maybe, what does it mean, maybe? Tal vez. Yeah, maybe, tal vez, exactly. Tal vez. I think, what does it mean, I think? Yo pienso. Yo pienso, ¿verdad? Yo pienso, yo creo. And I probably... Probablemente. Probablemente, probably, exactly. Very good. So, for example, we have here, I guess I will go to the movies on Sunday. Maybe I will travel abroad next year. I think I will get a new car by the end of the year. I will probably get a new job next year. And we have more examples here. These are questions, right? Uh, we can make questions also with will, but for plans, we can normally we can normally use going to, right? Like, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? What are you going to take uh, your next vacation with? Or how long are you going to be on vacation? So um, that would be like some examples, but we can also as with yes, no questions or WH, normally not WH questions, right? Because we would like to get more information about that. So, and also we have here uh, the expressions, right? For possibility, I guess, I think, probably, I suppose is another one. Yo supongo, I suppose, right? I expect, right? Espero, yo espero que pase esto, pero I don't know, right? Probably. And before, yes. Uh, and we have more examples here. So you were saying that uh, before you've made a decision, we use will, right? What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. I don't know. I think I'll go camping. I probably won't go anywhere. Or things you've decided on. Please, uh, verb to be plus going to plus verb. What are you going to do? I'm going to relax at the beach. We're going to go surfing every day. I'm not going to do anything special. So, um, do you have any questions about going to or will? Preguntas? Questions? Or everything's clear? Preguntas? No, teacher. No, no questions. Teacher. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no questions. Can I use going to or will in the past? Yes or no? Yes. 
No, you say I don't think so. Not, no, no, right. no, no, only in the future. No, no, only in the future. Only in the future. Exactly, yeah. only in the future because yeah. we use going to for future plans or will for future plans. We cannot use it in the past, right? I will eat. No, right? Ya comí. No, es voy a comer, verdad? In the future. <laughs> very good, very yes. good. So you see? Very good. Now we are going to practice. If you don't have any questions and you have understood everything, we are going to practice it, okay? Um, ah, but first, we, we cannot use only we are going to just for vacations, for plans. We can use it for different situations, right? For example, for uncertain situations, like maybe I will go to the beach with my friends. Promises also, promesas. I will buy you a new laptop if you get good grades. So we can use will for promises. Prediction without evidence also, right? I will be famous when I grow up. And offers and rapid decisions, right? It's really hot today. I'll open the windows for you. So we can use it in different situations. Also going to, we can use it for plans, like planning a trip, right? I am going to go for a, uh, to a party, on Friday, or she's going to travel to the US next week, or for, for predictions with evidence. Now, before we with will, no evidence, right? But with going to with evidence. For example, look at the clouds. It is going to rain a lot. So we have the evidence that the sky is this the sky is cloudy, the sky is gray. So probably it's going to rain, right? So it's going to rain a lot. So now that we have understood uh the will and going to we have a conversation here so we need to complete the conversation in some uh, spaces we are going to use will and on some other places we are going to use going to right. can be positive can can be affirmative can be a question and can be negative also so since we already know we have to read carefully and we have to complete the conversation so we are going to begin with um, the first part, right? This is the first part. It says, have you made any vacation plans? Well, I've decided on one thing. I, I will, or I, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going, 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 going to. Why? Because, uh, he decided. Because, because yeah. he yeah. made already the decision. Very good, because you've made already the decision, right? So I am going, right? I am going to go camping. I'm going to go. It says, uh, that's great. For how long? I will or I I'm will going? be. Oh, I will be. I will be. Okay, Jaime says, I will be. I will be away for a week. Can be possible, yeah. I will be away for a week. I only have five days of vacation. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I am going I will, or I will? I will, I will probably. I will. I, will. I will probably leave around the end of August. And where you go? The question there is with going, with will. Where will you Where will you, where go? Will where you, will you go? go? Where will you go or where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Where, where are, are you going, going to go? Where are you okay. going to go? Where are you going to go? Okay, we are going to check the answers in a minute. And then it says, I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will. Will. I will. I will. I will. Okay, I guess I will yes. go to one of the national parks. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Maybe I will, I will go. go. I will. I will. I will. I will. Okay. Go. I will go. I will go hiking and do some fishing. What is it? Go, what What is the meaning of go hiking? What is the meaning of go hiking? Like we usually in El Salvador, we we usually don't go hiking, but it's like just like walk, and we go hiking in the mountains, right? In los cerros, que escalamos cerros, vamos a caminar en los cerros. That is go hiking, right? That is go hiking. And do some fishing. What is fishing? Pescar. 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 Exactly. Do some fishing. Now, next one. You rent a camper? 
Will are you, you going, going to rent? Will you or are you going to? Are you going to rent? Are you going to rent a camper? Okay. Yes. It says, I'm not sure. Actually, I probably. I will. I will. Will, will right? Probably will rent a camper. Probably will it rent a camper. It's too expensive. It says, it's too expensive. So I will or I won't. I probably are going to. Will rent I'm going to. I will. I won't. Okay, we are going to check in a minute. Next one. You go with anyone. Are you going to? Are you going to go with anyone or will you go with anyone? Are you going to go? Okay, are you going to go with anyone? Very good. No, I need some time alone. I going to travel by myself. I am going to travel by myself. Okay, very good. As well, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because uh, here in my in the cities where I live, it's really hot. So, okay, now uh, we are going to check the answers. Now you, you you didn't have any doubt, right? No, no questions, right? Okay, we are going to check right now the answers. And these are the answers. It says, "Have you made any vacation plans?" Well, I've decided on one thing. I am going to go camping because. He has decided, right? He ha he made the decision, took the decision already. So he is going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I am going to be away for a week. So he already knows that he is going to be away for a week. It's been decided. I only have five days of vacation. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I will probably leave around the end of August. And where are you going to go? I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will go to one of the national parks because he hasn't decided, right? That sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe I will go hiking and do some fishing. Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably won't rent a camper. It's too expensive. Do you remember when we were studying two? Two is like too, too much traffic, too many cars, right? So two is with a negative connotation in this case. So for that reason, I probably won't rent a camper because it's too expensive, right? Are you going to go with anyone? No, I need some time alone. I'm going to travel by myself. So he had decided that already. So he's going to travel by himself. Or she, right? So, um, do you have any questions? Any any doubts? Vocabulary? Something that you don't understand? No. Okay, we are going to practice because we almost finish. Um, who wants to practice this conversation? Quien quiere practicar que no haya participado? Okay, haya participado también. Tatiana, okay, Tatiana. Who wants to participate with the with Tatiana? And Carla, okay, Tatiana, you will begin and then Carla will follow you. Have you made any vacation plans? Well, I have decided one thing. I am going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I am going to be away for a week. I only have five days of vacation. So where are you living? I'm not sure. I would probably leave around the end of August. And where are you going to go? I haven't talked about that yet. I guess I will go to the one of the national parks. That sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe I will go hiking and do some fishing. Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably won't rent a camper. It's too expensive. 
activity. Oh, are you going to go with anyone? No, I need some time alone. I'm going to travel. By myself, okay, very good. Very good, thank you very much, Carla. And thank you, Tatiana, you uh, did very well. I remember a uh, vacation was uh, well done, was well pronounced and also decided, right? We have to be careful with the verbs in the past, but it was really good pronunciation and you were very fluent. That's something really important. Okay, um, we still have time for two more, okay? Two more, those mas. Jaime, who else? Who wants to participate with Jaime? Who said me? Another person who wants to participate with Jaime? We have the other Jaime, we have Juan Linares, Brian, eh, Walter, Carla, Aiza, Edgardo. Me, need... teacher. Okay, Edgardo, go ahead. Okay. Have you made any vacation plans? Well, I decided on one thing. I'm going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I'm going to be away for a week. I only have five days on vacation. So where are you living? I'm not sure. I will probably live around the end of August. And where are you going to go? I haven't thought about yet, that yet. I guess I will go to one of the national parks. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Maybe I will go hiking and do some fishing. Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably won't rent a camper. It's too expensive. Are you going to go with anyone? No, I need someone time alone. I'm going to travel my, by myself. Okay. <laughs> very good, very good. Claps for you. You did it very well. You were very fluent. And you, you actually did very well, actually, yes. So thank you for your participation, Jaime and Edgardo. Now I keep on practicing. I probably you can find these conversations on YouTube, like the previous ones, if you want to keep on practicing and listening to conversations. Now, um, I guess that we have one activity more. It says plan a weekend camping trip. Choose one of the places and mention the things you will take with you. So I want you to plan an activity like a trip, like for example, if if you mentioned before that you like to go to the beach, probably you plan a trip to the beach, or if you want to uh, go to the mountains, right? Or if you want to go to another country, let's suppose, right? Or if you're going to go to the city on this vacation, uh, plan that, plan, plan uh, this situation. Like, for example, try to answer the following questions. When are we going to go? How are you going to get there? How long are you going to stay there? What are we going to take with you? And what are we going to do each day? So those are the questions that you need to answer, right? What are we going to take with us? Uh, how long are you going to, to, to be there? Uh, if you are going to take food with you, the clothes you are going to use to wear, right? So um, that's what we are going to do tomorrow. And for the ones who were not at the beginning of the class, just to remind you that uh, this is the last week of this course, of these classes. So try to finish the platform. If you have any questions, any problem, any doubt, using the platform, try to let me know or try to finish it before or um, the last day to finish it is on Thursday. That will be June 28th. So you can get your diploma. You can download it once you have finished. But I guess that you have finished uh, the, the, all, all those exercises, right? Yes, because you organize your time and you have time during the weekend. And remember that the first day of, of August, you are not going to have classes, right? You will have vacation. So um, that's really good. So you can start planning your vacation uh, from now. So do you have any questions, any doubts about the activity? Any other doubt, any other question? 
teacher, there is a, a link or don't allow the, the diploma. <laughs> yes, yes, I guess some people they have downloaded the diploma already, but I have you tried or do you, do you have that link? Yeah, have you tried to download it? Do you have that link, Edgardo? No, uh, I can find the link. You cannot find it, but you have finished everything. Okay. Okay. But you have finished everything, right? You you have completed. No, I, uh, I I didn't complete it yet. <laughs> okay, so first you have to complete it, and then I guess that you the, the link will be generated, and you will have you will be able to download it. But if you have okay. any question or any other doubt, or any problem completing the platform, let me know. Okay. Okay. Thank do you. you have okay? Do you have any other question? No questions. No questions. Okay, so we are going to. Teacher. Okay, we are going to call it a day, and we are going to finish the class right now. Okay. But I will see you tomorrow and prepare your activity. Okay. Okay. Thank you, okay. teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.